Okay, so uh, let me tell you about this um, this material. Uh, this is called uh, Sil Granite, S-I-L Granite. It's made by Blanco. It's a granite composite. It's 80% granite, 80% natural granite minerals. So what we do is we take the granite, we grind it down to a pulp, we mix it with a bonding agent, acrylic, and colour, and it's compression moulded, which means that we can make a sink with nice curves, nice design features, um, to give it a nice styling, um, with all the benefits of stone without disadvantages. And if you give that a feel, you just touch that, nice and smooth, silky, feels like a pebble, feels like a stone, um, which is lovely. Now, um, I'm showing you here a white one, which is available in 10 different colours, it's a colour that you can see here. So first of all, let's put some water on it and I'll show you what it does. So I'm going to put a run of water here. I'm going to put it here and if you watch carefully the way the water reacts. So I've put the water there and as you can see, it immediately beads up and runs off. So it's not less likely to lay on the surface and therefore cause water marks. And what we suggest you do once you've finished using the sink, just give it a quick wipe and it'll dry the surface and help it to prevent that build up of limestone. Oh, now watch this. I wouldn't expect you to do this normally. Sorry about the noise. Now, I'm going to put a fair amount of pressure on that. And this is uh, beyond the sort of normal call of duty for a sink. But I want to demonstrate just how hard it is. So let's carry on doing that. There. As you can see, the marks you see there, I'll give that a quick rub. Look at the end of my finger, you'll see that that is the stainless steel off the end of the fork. So I'm actually wearing away the end of the fork. So the sink itself is harder than stainless steel. Um, normally you'd only expect to see something like, you know, maybe the, the edge of the pan rubbing against the edge of the sink, see there's a black mark there, the dropping in, banging against the side. There's, those are the marks that have been more normal. Um, you don't have to worry about that. All you need is a little cream cleanser, something to uh, I've got a product here, you can buy it anywhere, it's nothing special, uh, just cost a couple of pounds. I'm going to put a little um, splodge on there. It's got a slight abrasive action, which is good for our purposes, although not, re not recommended for most sinks. So let's just give that a rub. There we are, let's come off immediately. The remainder of these marks here, which I did with that fork. Yep, well, that's gone, that's lifted straight off. And again, in the bowl. A quick wipe over, brings it back up. Now let's talk about staining. Big worry in the kitchen. Let's just dry that off. Staining. People always worry about um, staining their sink, obviously. Now I'm showing you a white one here. Remember that it is available in 10 different colours. Um, people say to me about coffee, tea, red wine, products like that. So um, let's have a look. I've got with me here something a little bit stronger. This is um, beetroot juice, beetroot juice. Um, I'm going to put some of that on the sink. Let's just make it even harder for ourselves. Let's dry that right off. There we are. Be very careful with this. Now, if this touches anything, wood, cloth, clothing, knife handles, granite surfaces, that's going to soak in and cause you major problems. So, let's just put that on there. There we are. Now the other product that um, people always say is uh, curry powder, curry paste. You know that um, bright yellow Indian spice that you get, touches anything, it's lethal. Um, well I just happen to have some here. Uh, this is actually curry paste, so this is um, concentrated. It has turmeric in it. And uh, I'm going to spread some of that on this white sink. And here we go, let's put some of that on there. Spread that on there. And just leave that to harden off a little bit. Throw that in the bowl. So that's turmeric curry paste and beetroot juice. Now the surface itself, and remember when I say surface, uh, there's no special coating on this. Um, there's not a layer on it or a special surface. If you were to cut the sink in half and look at the cross section, it's the same all the way through. And is 100% food safe, which obviously you'd expect uh, in a kitchen. But that does mean that if you wanted to, you could actually cut on the surface. And I've got a stainless steel chef's knife here and I'm cutting directly onto the work surface. Okay, let's have a look at this. Beetroot juice. Uh, if you think, if you look here, you can see that is dried on. That's actually dried up now, it's dried on and over here, it's nice and dry. 
So um, let's clean it off. Now I'm not going to use any uh, cleaning materials. I'm just going to use cold water. It's not a jet, it's just a dribble of water. I'm not even going to use a pan scrub. I'm just going to run the water on the sink. There we are. If you look closely, you can see that just lifts straight off. That's dried on beetroot juice, just lifted straight off. There's the turmeric, let's get a little bit more water. There we are, so beetroot juice, no problem at all. Tea, coffee, wine, that just lifts straight off. Now if you look closely, you can see where the curry paste was, where the turmeric was, there's a mark, that yellow mark we're all familiar with. And the reason why that's clung to the surface is because it's greasy, it's oily. So what we need to do is just cut that grease. So I'm gonna put a little uh, cleaner on there. It could be anything, washing up liquid, some sort of cleaner, anything that will cut the grease. Nothing special, buy it anywhere. Just to show you, I'm not gonna use the scouring side, I'm gonna use the sponge side, the soft side, just to show you how good this uh, material is. Place that on there, give it a little twist, and that completely lift it off. And that is concentrated curry powder with turmeric, completely gone. It's heat resistant to 280 degrees. So that's nice to know you don't want to damage your sink doing normal kitchen activity.